This is lead code problem number 1456 and it says find the maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. So here the problem is that you are given a string and you are also given one length. So in this case let's say 3. So you will look at all the substrings of length 3 in this original string and then count in that substring how many vowels are there. So of course the uh, number of vowels in a substring of length k cannot be more than k since this substring has k letters. Best case can be that all of them are vowels. So the best possibility is k. Now let's see how we will solve this problem. So here uh, I have labeled vowels in white and consonants in yellow. So this is the first substring of length 3. It has two vowels, so we have an answer with value of 2. Next substring will be this. It again has two vowels. If you take this, it has just one vowels. So you will look at all such substrings of length 3. This length is fixed. So let's see here. So the first window, it will be like sliding window approach. So the first window will be here. We are working with k equal to 3. And this is original string S. So uh, max number of vowels in all substrings of length K. First window is this. Here vowel count is 2 and we keep track of max vowel count initialized to 0 whenever we get a better result we update it so now it becomes 2 next the window comes here it's again ee e, and t is not a vowel so again 2 next this window here just one vowel so we will not update it then the window comes here again it's 1 so we will not update next window is from here till here there is just one vowel and the final window will be here, this one starting at length minus k again it has 2 so we will not update it and finally return this 2 so how we will approach it so of course first window we will iterate k letters of this original string and count vowels we can have uh, a set where we keep track of the vowels so this is the set it has A, E, I, O and U, all small English letter alphabets. And uh, whenever any letter matches with this, we increment the count. So here, we see if L is in this set or not. It's not. So VC remains 0. Then we come here. It's in the set. So VC becomes 1. Then it becomes 2 and this size becomes k so we stop and we update the max count and for next window what we need to do we will just shift this window by one step so uh, the count uh, again uh, if this is a window this can be a large length also here k is small so this is the first character of this this window and this is the remaining k minus 1 characters. So when this window shifts by 1, this will become the first character and one new character will be, one new letter will be added to this window and this will go out of this window. So in next step, what we need to do, we just need to compare this, whether this was a vowel, then we decrement the vowel count by 1 since this count was earlier included in this window now it's out of this window so we decrement its count and we check this new letter that has come into the new window the window size will remain fixed k okay. so we check if this is vowel then we do vc plus plus else we don't do anything and uh, we will keep sliding the window and at each step we will just do two comparisons the character that went out of the window and the character that came into the window just two comparisons 
so first step will take k comparisons and next onwards it will take two two comparisons so overall it will be order n which is the size of string and finally we will return the max such value so let's write the code for this so this is uh, explaining the same example and it says that uh, we are given that a string is always at least of length one so we don't need to worry about empty string case now let's write the code for this so first we will create one unordered set of care So this is the set and then v count equal to 0 and first we will do for the for the first window we need to compare k steps k first k letters of the original string i equal to 0 i less than k plus plus i So if vowel, if the current letter is in this set, then we increment v count, and that's it. Now we will keep track of the first and last character of the window because those are the characters that will change. All the characters in between will remain same, so we don't need to update the count. So leftmost character of the window is zero and rightmost character is k minus 1 currently uh, the window size is fixed k so this is the first window and then let's say max vowels count this is the global maximum the best result we have got so far so once we have looked the first window it will be v count and then we will uh, look in the remaining windows so while r less than s dot length minus one so this r the rightmost uh, character of this window the last window will be pointing to the last character the string so this is the loop and uh, So when we shift the window, uh, the first character of the earlier window will be going out of this. So if this was vowel, we will decrement its count. Then we shift the left position of the window by one position to the right. Then we shift the right also, both indices will change and uh, again the same logic the new character that has come in we need to compare And that's it. So let's try it.
and this works for this case so let's go ahead and submit and the solution is accepted in C++ now we will repeat this logic in Java Let's create a list out of this. Now this part should remain same, this loop and if wobbles not contains s dot char at i and the solution is accepted in Java as well I don't know why the Java solution takes much less time 19 millisecond compared to C++ now let's uh, write this same logic in Python 3 and let's try 
and this works so let's submit and the solution is accepted in python as well